hey, let's have a lot of fun learning about the dermatomes. Instead of looking at this guy, we're going to spend our time looking at this guy. So let's begin. So we have this man over here. I don't know who this man is, but he helps me remember the dermatomes. And we note by his pinky over here that he has this plate that is sticking to it. It's a seeing plate. Seeing plate for C8. This helps us remember that the pinky and the medial aspect of the hand is C8. Then we take a look at his thumb over here, and he likes to balance these C sticks on his thumb. These are sticks in the shape of C's, so these are the C sticks. C sticks for C6. Then we note that he always has this taser gun over here by the medial aspect of his arm. He likes to keep it here to keep himself protected. This taser gun reminds us of T1, as the medial aspect of the arm is T1. We note that behind his head over here, he always has this cowboy shoe that is stuck to it. Someone once stuck a cowboy shoe to the back of his head, and it's been here ever since. This cowboy shoe helps us remember C2, as C2 is the back of the head. Oh boy, he has this really cool tree right by his neck. This is a tree in the shape of a C. This is the C tree. C tree for C3. The anterior neck area is C3. Then we come to his anterior shoulder, where again we see something in the shape of a C. Here it's a beehive in the shape of a C. The C hive. C hive for C5. Anterior shoulder is C5. The nipples, where we see these doors. Door helps us remember four. And we know we're talking about T4 because everything in the torso area is T. So here we have T4. All right, the next part, my favorite. Here we have coming out of his xiphoid and his middle finger are these things pointing towards heaven. Heaven reminds us of seven. So both the xiphoid and the middle finger are seven. The difference, however, is that the xiphoid is T7, for as we mentioned, it comes from the torso area, and the middle finger is C7, just like the other fingers that are all C. Then we come up to this cute little hen over here by his belly button. Hen for 10, as the umbilicus is T10. And a little bit lower than that, we get to the elf. Elf for 12, as this area over here is T12. I don't know why he keeps another gun over here, but this is the love gun. Love gun helps us remember L1. The inguinal area over here is L1. He doesn't keep shoes on his feet. He doesn't know how to put on shoes properly. He thinks he's supposed to put it on his inner thigh. Shoe reminds us of two. And since we're talking about the legs, we're talking about L. So L shoe for L2. The inner thigh is L2. He has separating his legs. There always is this locked door. Locked door for L4. The medial foot and the medial as and the medial aspect of the bottom of the leg is L4. And finally, he has a third gun, but this one is the shotgun. Shotgun for S1. The lateral aspect of the foot and the lower leg is S1. I didn't put this one in the visual because it's memorable without it. S2, S3, S4 keeps the privates off the floor. That means that the penile area and the anal area is S2, S3, and S4. All right, stay tuned for more awesome videos. Take care.